Hello and welcome to Universe Sandbox 2. I'm assuming because of my review being like my like fifth most popular video of all time and it's only been like a month. Um obviously I did something right, so I'm returning because obviously people want to see this game. But I have to come up with what I'm gonna do. I mean, sure, blowing up the f the sun is kinda fun, but we have to come up with a challenge or something. You know what? I have a challenge for myself. Oops, that was the delete key. Ah, oh, you can undo stuff now. Oh. Never mind. Oh, we can just fix that. Home. Open. Solar system. Okay. So, we are going to first add a moon because this doesn't have a moon for some reason. And we're going to have to make the moon as big as the Earth, but not collide and still orbit it. It'll be a dual planetary system. Not sure if this is possible. But might as well try. So we'll start with something already kind of big. Auto, uh, auto, auto orbit. No, we want you to. Okay, this is going to be complicated. Let's start with the moon, because that'll at least auto-orbit correctly. Sorry about that. Um, so, let's do this. Let's see if this will auto-orbit. Boom, auto-orbit. So now it should be orbiting Earth. Okay, so now we're auto-orbiting Earth. So that's step one. Get a moon to orbit Earth. Step two is to gradually raise its mass. It's getting pretty big. It still is orbiting Earth, though, I think. We can check that. Is orbiting Earth still? So you will continue raising it. Oh man, it's about to hit Earth. I thought the moon was a lot bigger than that. Apparently it takes a lot of them to make an Earth. Oh, that's the mass. Not the size or volume or anything. So now, the moon is actually getting closer to Earth. We just need them not to collide. Maybe we can even make the moon... And Earth both have life. Okay. Wow. So we have the moon. What? What happened? Switch this back to where it was, I guess. Question is, is this a stable orbit? It may actually be. So it's nice as the other one was. 
which we can fix right now. So we will just get moon, or the moon. Dang it. How did the Earth survive that? Okay, whatever. Okay, so now, let's just stop time. Add moon put it here actions auto orbit now we're gonna go into the moon basic mass and we make it one earth okay so now they should do their little dance where they don't hit each other but they do kinda mess with each other here we go. That's what we wanted. Hopefully this is stable. Yes, it appears to be stable. Okay. So now we need to uh, make the moon habitable. Shouldn't it be too hard? We just have to give it a bit, little bit of water. Question is, how much does it need? Here we go! I'll say that looks pretty earthish. I'll just turn that down a little bit. Come on, Moon, you know you want to be water. Is it getting too cold? No, it can't be too cold. Here we go. So let's just add a little bit more. There we go. Good distribution of land. Now we will give it everything else it needs, so it needs a bit of carbon dioxide for an atmosphere. It needs hydrogen for an atmosphere. And now we need to tweak it so that its, it's temperature isn't bad, is it? 11 and Earth is 16. We can tweak it a little bit. Um, we need to find its albedo. There we go. If we put this up, temperature will go up. I think that's how it works. I'm not sure though. Oh boy. Dogs are loud. Alright, let's see if we can get it to a good temperature. Aha! It appears we've hit a sweet spot. We now literally have an Earth orbiting an Earth. So it's a little bit warmer, so this would be like your vacation resort place. Where you'd go, you'd just go here and you'd be like, whoa, it's warm here. And obviously you'd every day have a solar eclipse on both of them. Pretty bad one. We should be able to see this. So as the moon, so see, yeah. That would be really annoying. It wouldn't last very long, though, according to this. Um, but it would happen multiple times every day. Okay, so what now? Well, of course, we want to see them collide. So let's shut off its orbit. 
how do we unorbit it? Hmm. Orbital parrot. None. Can I can I not do that? Um relative body orbital parrot. Uh position lock. Okay, they may crash now. Oh, we want to be watching the Earth when this happens. Well, I guess we're going to have to just make the moon. Crash into it by making the moon be attracted to it. Quite literally. So, um, Earth. Earth has been swallowed by the moon. The moon has gotten revenge. And now, the moon is really hot. It's cooling down. Getting this nice red glow. Now it's just like a big ball of rock. And soon... Ooh. What happened to the orbit? Oh. Ha. <laughs> so a strange orbit it's got there. It's very cold and now it's gonna warm up. We're gonna get all of our water back. Life will exist again. I'm just gonna name it Earth. No. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a pretty big crater. Yeah. When it rubbed up, left that. <laughs> Let's destroy it. Um, how do we completely destroy... <laughs> Let's just completely destroy the whole solar system, actually. Now that the moon's gotten its revenge. Let's uh, find a very large star. Yeah. Red star nearing the end of its life. Just bring up the mass to like a hundred times the sun. So, let's see what you'd notice. Let's do this on a new one. We will actually let's make a new video on this. This will be the next video in the Universe Sandbox. Uh, this is.